Hi, and welcome. My name is Brad, and this is Brad 3D. And this is the CR30, the Naomi Wu 3D print mill. Yay! Uh, I've been waiting on this thing for, for, for a long time, I'm waiting on a belt printer for a very long time. Uh, huge shout out to, to Black Belt and to White Knight and everyone who helped with the design and, and the building of these things and like belt printers in general. Um, I've been a fan for a long time and massive appreciation to Creality and to Naomi for actually making one that I can have. I, I'm an early Kickstarter backer. I got this one as just a regular backer. I paid. It's here. I'm thrilled that it is here. Uh, it took a couple hours to, to get it out of box and set up in printing. But uh, with some profile help from, from Max, it is, it's going. Um, and I'll show you right here. I do want to say thank you to Max Schmier and Joe Telling for their help. So this is Max's print profile. Max is the one that recommended to me using Idea Maker as well as using the, his profile for it. So we're printing using that right now. And so far it's looking really good. Joe, I want to just say, hey, the fan, 3D printing nerd, very helpful channel. It was actually the first channel I had actually learned about um, the, the print mill on after I saw some tweets from Naomi. So very excited and uh, thrilled to have it here. So thank you both very much for your videos. And Knack for all the help. Thanks for helping make the thing be a reality. Very, very cool. Okay, let's talk about bed leveling here. Because that was probably the hardest part of the setup. If you're not running Knack's firmware, if you're running the stock firmware as it comes, here's my recommendation on how to properly bed level this. And this comes from two hours of trial and error this, this morning. So, two screws on the back on the right, that guy and that guy. Two on the left, that guy and that guy. So what you want to do is you want to take and have the machine off. You want to take the screws here and the screws here undo the larger wing nuts, those big guys, and then you want to turn to the right and tighten down both of those all the way and then tighten the bottom ones. And then that will basically bring this part here, right there, all the way down. When that's all the way down, then, obviously you wouldn't have to print it on, it's printing, still printing. But you're going to then bring this all the way down so that the nozzle is actually on the bed if not actually pressing a little bit against the bed. When you do that, take a clamp, I had one, and, and clamp right there, pushing down on this so that it can't pop up on you. So you actually want to clamp it down uh, pretty far. Then, with these two loose and the other two loose, this whole piece is going to slide up and down pretty freely. You want to push it up with the little uh, one millimeter, or tenth of a millimeter shim that goes in there. The little, little metal shim. I can grab it so I can show you what I'm talking about. This shim that comes with it actually has 0 0.1 written on it. Right there. You get that shim, put that in there, and you're going to lift this up until it is against the metal here with the shim in between there, and then tighten that down. And then you're going to do the same thing here so that it goes up to there. Don't move these four yet. Don't move this guy at the bottom yet. Once you have that done, turn the printer on and auto home it. At this point, I almost guarantee you the nozzle will be a couple millimeters or maybe even or less above the print bed. That means you're not level. Okay? Then what you do is loosen these and start loosening this to then move these guys down until you can auto home and have the nozzle go a little too low and kind of almost bump into the bed a little bit. At which point you can then use the offsets for Y axis to lift the nozzle back up till it's just right so you can just slide this guy under the nozzle barely and then you want to set your uh, your home location. So that's when you go your set your home presets. When you set that, you know, beep, then you go save settings, and you go to auto home, and it should all then line back up and go to it. If you would need to go negative on the number to get the nozzle to go lower, just keep bringing these screws physically lower to move the digital end stop. But don't move the metal. You want to just move these guys against that. 
that's the trick. That was the thing that made the difference for me. And that's where I am now at a nice, beautiful bed. When you do go to print, if it's a little bit loose on your first print, mine was a little bit gloopy, um, that's when you then can raise these guys up ever so slightly until it just sticks just right. That's your like fine tune adjustment. And with that, printing. And now you're back. Hi. Uh, so it's actually a very easy thing to assemble. There's just a couple of parts. It is whisper quiet compared to my, my first gen CR10. There's like a little hum, a little bit of fan noise uh, from the computer, but that's about it. The steppers are basically silent. Uh, the actual print quality is beautiful. I, I, I couldn't be happier and more excited. I have some crazy giant things I'm going to be printing on this thing over the next year. I have some specific plans for like this thing and like why I got this. And uh, I'm you know, I'm happy. This is a wonderful fourth printer to have. <laughs> um, I'm currently printing uh, a uh, Master Sword uh, from uh, Link's Master Sword from Zelda. This is one that actually also holds um, Switch cartridges. So this is a request from my kids. They wanted this. So this is what's printing. Uh, first, I have some other stuff to print too. Uh, we'll get to that eventually, I'm sure. Uh, when assembling, uh, the one thing I would say is be careful not to get the switch, uh, the cord caught for the uh, filament runout sensor that's over here on the side. I unfortunately did, and actually I cut that cord by accident uh, and had to do a quick soldering job to fix it. Uh, that's on me, but, uh, you know, not, not, not a normal thing I would expect most of you to have to do, but, you know. Uh, camera. See, clearly professional YouTuber. Um, right there. So, you know, this is my patch job. Don't do that. Don't get that stuck. Uh, but yeah, there it is. There is my, my Creality CR30 going. Uh, there's the, the, uh, the box and everything. Keep, keep an eye on the print and I'll catch you later. But yeah, uh, I'm happy it's here. It's real. And, uh, they are shipping to backers. So hopefully you will get yours soon. If you're, you're like me, one of the backers. But look at that. Look how awesome and crazy. And it's 45 degrees. Nothing quite like it. Have a wonderful day.